Hey, did Tim call while I was out? No, he didn't. Why? Well, he told me he had an idea he wanted to run by me, so uh, I figured he might have called. What? What's the idea? Uh, well, he's actually thinking about writing a book about uh, the time he spent on the road with the Grateful Dead. Oh, that'd be a great topic for a book. You know, whenever you speak to me about the Grateful Dead, I'm all ears. Yeah, I mean, I when I look back on the years I spent following them around, jeez, I I followed them all over the place. But I mean, that was some of the most fun I've ever had in my life. I think. I can imagine. I mean, you know, first off, you know, they're my favorite band. Right. And、uh, second, the other thing that really drew me to the scene was the fact that there was just this. Traveling、uh, group of people that followed them everywhere. It was like almost like a bazaar, sort of,、mm-hmm. you know.、Mm-hmm. And, well, it's definitely a subculture of America. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, some people even called it a cult. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and、uh, it was so unique at the time,、uh, you know, because there really wasn't anything else like it. I mean, you had all these hippies. Driving around, following the band from city to city, and、uh, you know, when you're on the road, driving from one place to the next, you'd see the same people. You'd see the same cars, all these VW buses driving, and、um, you know,、uh, people supported themselves uh, by uh, selling things in the parking lots at the concerts.、Mm-hmm. Like a lot of people would like make jewelry and sell it. A lot of people would. Sell、uh, clothes that they made.、Um, another、uh, favorite amongst people was to uh, just uh, sell beer or to、uh, make food, and that's what I actually did a lot of the times. I'd make sandwiches or I'd sell beer in order to help, you know, defray the cost of the tickets. Uh huh. Because it could get a little expensive, you know. Right. But you know, the other strange thing is that you'd have this like large circus traveling essentially. Following the band, and it was all these like hippies, people with like really long hair and beards, and like you know really sometimes like people who hadn't like showered for days because they were just traveling with you know around、yeah. following the band. Yeah. Because you know, especially、uh, during the summer, you just stay at campgrounds, you know. So you'd camp, and they might not have a shower, you know.、Right. I remember like so many times washing my hair like under a. You know, a, a faucet in a sink of a bathroom, or you know, under a hose somewhere, <laughs> and having someone help me because you know I had the long hair. <laughs> oh man! And、uh, you know, the other thing is, you travel around and sometimes be driving through these really small conservative towns, and you could just imagine what it must have been like from their standpoint. I mean, they see these people. Who don't look anything like them? I mean,、right. they're all clean-cut looking. These people who live in this town, and then you have this pack of like looks like bohemian gypsies traveling、uh-huh. through town. Yeah, that's you know? a good description. So you know, a lot of the times the、uh, the cops in the town would hassle you, you know,、oh, for、sure. no good reason. You know. Yeah. I think that they would just suddenly jump to conclusions about you know what you were doing. Because you look different than them, you know. They were totally like judging the book by its cover, right? So,、um, yeah. But oh my gosh, you know, when I look back on those times, I just met so many people. I mean, sometimes I would meet somebody in like, say, the middle of the country, like Kansas, right? Uh huh. And then, like a year or two later, I'd be say in Seattle, and I'd run into the same people, the same oh person. Oh my god, it's such a small world, huh? Yeah. I know, but that was another great thing. Like, I met so many people and became such good friends with so many of those people. There, some of these people are like my closest friends to this day, like Tim. You know. Yeah. So it was really something that、uh, it was like a community. You know. I was gonna say too. I'm. It's a very. It sounds like it was a very bonding experience. Oh yeah, totally. Like it's funny if you're a, a deadhead and you meet another deadhead, it's like there's this like uh, almost. Uh, Hidden language that you speak, <laughs> you know, it's crazy. And you know the 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 fans were such rabid fans. I mean, you know, a lot of Deadheads. The only music they would listen to was the music of the Grateful Dead. Wow, 
I could see why people would think that was a bit cultish. Yeah, totally. Well, do you think that um, Tim will actually follow through with writing this book? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. You know, he can be a flake sometimes. Yeah, I know.